Hello folks, I am Georgios Papadopoulos and welcome to this video on persistent methods in CSMA MAC protocol. In the following, we are going to talk about what should a node do if the shared transmission medium is busy or idle. To answer this question, three methods have been defined, the one persistent, the non-persistent and the p-persistent method. Let's start with the one persistent CSMA method. Under one persistent method, when the transmitting node has a frame to transmit, it continuously senses the shared transmission medium, in other words, the shared channel, to check its state. More specifically, it checks if the medium is idle or busy. If the shared transmission medium is idle, the node A transmits its frame immediately. However, if the shared transmission medium is busy, then the node will continue sensing the shared medium until it becomes idle. Once the shared medium is idle, the node transmits its frame immediately with probability 1. In fact, due to probability 1, it is called 1 persistent CSMA. In case of a collision, the transmitter must wait for a random amount of time and start the same procedure all over again. To summarize, here is the flow diagram for one persistent CSMA method. The transmitting node continuously senses the shared transmission medium. If it is idle, it transmits immediately the frame, else it continues to listen until medium becomes idle and then transmits immediately. One persistent CSMA has the highest chances of collision because two or more nodes may find the shared transmission medium idle and transmit their frames immediately. Last but not least, one persistent CSMA is used in CSMA CD systems, including Ethernet. Next, we have the non-persistent CSMA method. Under non-persistent method, when the transmitting node has a frame to transmit, it senses the shared transmission medium to check if it is in idle or busy state. If the shared medium is idle, the node transmits its frame immediately. However, if the shared channel is busy, it waits a random amount of time and repeats the whole logic cycle again. To summarize, here is the flow diagram for non-persistent CSMA method. The transmitting node senses the shared transmission medium. If it is idle, it transmits the frame. Else, it waits a random time and starts the same procedure again. The non-persistent approach reduces the chance of collision. Indeed, there is lower probability that two or more nodes will wait the same random amount of time and retry to transmit simultaneously. However, this approach reduces the efficiency of the network because the shared medium remains idle when there may be nodes with frames to transmit. The third and the final method is the p-persistent CSMA method. The p-persistent method is employed if the continuous time of the shared channel is divided into discrete time intervals called slots. Each slot duration is equal to or greater than the maximum propagation time. Under p-persistent method, when the transmitting node has a frame to transmit, like one persistent, it continuously senses the shared transmission medium for idle or busy state. In this method, once the node detects the shared medium idle, it continues with the following steps. With probability p, the node transmits its frame. Let's assume that in this case the probability outcome was p, thus the node a transmits its frame. While with probability 1 minus p, the node waits for the beginning of the next time slot and checks the shared transmission medium again. Let's assume that in this case the probability outcome was 1 minus p. Thus, the node A does not transmit its frame and it waits until the beginning of the next available time slot, which is the slot 3 in this example. 
In the following time slot, slot 3, if the shared transmission medium is detected idle, it will go back to step 1. However, if the shared transmission medium is detected busy, the node will continue as though a collision has occurred and thus the back of procedure will take place. In one of the following videos, we will talk about the back of algorithm. To summarize, here is the flow diagram for P-persistent CSMA method. The transmitting node continuously senses the shared transmission medium. If it is idle, it transmits with the probability P and delays for a time slot with probability 1 minus P. In the following slot, if the medium is idle, repeats the whole logic cycle again. If it is busy, uses back of process. The P-persistent CSMA approach combines the advantages of the one-persistent and non-persistent CSMA access modes. Indeed, it reduces the chance of collision and improves the efficiency of the network. Finally, P-persistent CSMA is used in CSMA CA systems including Wi-Fi. And that's all folks on persistence methods in CSMA.